are back. My next guest tonight was a founding member of the Kids in the Hall and a cast member on Saturday Night Live. Starting Friday, he can be seen starring in the new movie, The Saddest Music in the World. Please welcome Mark McKinney. See you, Mark. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm I haven't seen right. you since uh, since Toronto. I know. Well, of course, you're a you're a native. I'm a, I'm now a native of Toronto. Yeah. We we took our sh we took our show there. A uh, there'll be no more wooing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Until I say, and he blew it out. <laughs> yeah. Or um, raise the roof. Raise the roof. Yeah. Um, see, no one. Everyone's like, Ugh, no. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, we saw you uh, up there. We took our show there for a week, and we had, we had a blast. It was, it a, lot was of fun. An it was a national hit. You were on every news. I, I didn't realize how bored we were until you showed up. <laughs> I know, I know. It was like we'd collectively fallen asleep over a fishing pole by Lake Ontario and woke up. <laughs> funny man, Conan here! Yeah. Redhead man, say something funny! <laughs> every day there's a lot of. He's funny, he's funny again last night! <laughs> there's a lot of Asians living there, there, I should mention, yeah. <laughs> Asian? I thought so. Yeah. It sounded a little I just kind of put my voice up. Oh, okay. Yeah. It sounded different to me. Um, now, the kids in the hall, uh, I can't believe it started 15 years ago. It's 15 like years ago. Ancient yeah. lore now. Um, there must be fans that literally grew up watching Kids in the Hall, and, and you see them now. It must be sort of a weird time warp experience. It is, and there's fans that have stuck with us for forever, and, and, and fans that say, my mother loved you <laughs> so much. Yeah. But we had, a, we, had uh, we had fans like all over the place. We, have, uh, we had this one fan actually from, uh, from Japan who used to write us these letters in these very shaky handwritings, and we never actually met them. And then, and then one of them showed up uh, outside the town hall show that we did uh, in New York a sure. couple of years back. And, the big and, reunion show. Yeah, the big reunion show. And, uh, and, and she ran into Bruce and he, she, he said, uh, well, why is your handwriting so shaky? And she said, well, and whenever I write kids in the hall, my other hand is busy. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Doing what? I don't know. Uh, Churning yeah. butter, I yeah, think. Right. Yeah, right. So, <laughs> painting humble yeah, exactly. figurines, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Clean up your act, people. Mm. Now, also, the, the, the saddest music in the world, it, your, your, your co-star in this movie... Is that it, Isabella Rossellini. Isabella, Isabella Rossellini, Rossellini, who has been on the show uh, several times and just... So classy and so classically beautiful. She's she's absolutely extraordinary. She is film history. Her mother's you know famous. Her father was famous, and, right. and she she has every right to be like one of those trailer door slamming divas. She's not. She's a child. You know. Mm -hmm. She actually we took her out to dinner once, and she actually said this. This is a, she she doesn't know how famous she is. She said you know my mother was an actress named Ingrid Bergman, and she made a movie with this other actor named Humphrey Bogart. It was called Casablanca. Do you know? <laughs> I was not always an actress. Yeah. I started as a model, but it, they called it something else. I was an extra model, no, a special model. No, a super model. <laughs> oh. yeah. She doesn't know. Yeah. You know, it's funny. You can take it two ways. She's either being really sweet and innocent, or she's being like an incredible yeah. jerk. My mom was, uh, I mean, yeah. if you've heard of her. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Ingrid Bergman, maybe? Yeah. A little, little guy. Who comes? Casablanca? <laughs> You could take it that way, you too. Could. But I'm sure she's not saying it like that. Yeah. She's very nice. She's really sweet. It would be great if in that whole conversation you were just going, I, no, nah. I don't. <laughs> Can't help you. No. When you, you, you know, I, I sometimes like to ask people what their first job was, and, and I heard that yours was working in a piano factory, yeah, which is first... like a lot of, like everyone else was a, pretty much who becomes waiter. an actor is a waiter. Yeah. Everyone says waiter. P working in a piano factory sounds interesting. No, it was. It was. Uh, I flunked out of University of Newfoundland, part of my life plan, and then I moved to Calgary and I got a job uh, working at uh, Foothills Piano Shop in Calgary, which was uh, run by an ex-biker. It had a real neat cast of characters. An ex-biker and his brother was sort of crazy and fixed cars next to the pianos and an alcoholic piano tuner, you know. And, uh, and <laughs> does, a guy he, does he do a good job? Does he and, tune you know, the pianos well? Yeah, the alcoholic well, piano tuner. Perfectly. Ah, nice. Okay. Perfectly. And then a guy that everybody liked and just me, sort of watching it. Hey, I think I just wrote a sitcom. Oh. Yeah, I did. Just that little cast of That's characters. cast of characters right there, That's yeah. That's pretty good. I gotta call Fox. <laughs> well, they're watching. They could... Why are they booing that? <laughs> Don't they... you say nothing bad about Fox! <laughs> did they think it was a Fox? Yeah. 
No, Don't no. Don't bother the foxes? No, no, they are very, people really get offended when you make that fun of the, the most Fox Network. Boo. Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. I'm gonna come up there and I'll fight them. We have, we have, no, not really, I'm not coming up there. But <laughs> I can, if I got hurt. It'd yeah, be a no, national be tragedy. Um, <laughs> don't laugh at that, it would be a national tragedy. <laughs> I meant in Toronto, it would be yeah. a national tragedy. We're not coming back, <laughs> funny red man not coming. Oh, Godzilla coming, run! Godzilla! Godzilla! <laughs> All right. I have one voice left as a character. Give me a hand. <laughs> Try to get out there. That's my sitcom. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> Who is that yeah, person? Uh, this this uh, move. This is a very unusual premise for a film uh -huh. that you've done with uh, Isabella Rossellini. Yes, it's uh, it's well, it's not, it made sense to me when I was doing it, but it's uh, it's about um, uh, Isabella Rossellini. Are you, you going to show a clip or do you want yes, to we're just show? Oh, a clip. Okay. Well, in this, uh, it's Isabella Rossellini is a beer baroness in Winnipeg in the middle of the Depression, and she sponsors a competition for the. Uh, to find the saddest music in the world. But sadly, she's a double amputee, thanks to uh, my father in the movie, who accidentally sawed off both her legs. And, um... We've all, seen, that. We've all, we've all seen this movie yeah, remade countless times so, on the Fox Network. Yeah. <laughs> so my dad makes her some new legs, and I think uh, the clip you're going to show... And this is where you present... No, no, this, she's gotten the legs, and she's, uh, she used to be very glum, and now she's uh, the legs now have she's changed happy. her mood. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at this clip. And she's a beer baroness. That's beer important baroness. to understand. Yeah. Uh, take a look at this clip from uh, The Saddest Music in the World. Where's all that cruelty, Helen? You had the market cornered. Let's go back, legs. Come on. Oh, that's it. I want to be, be in that like movie. That. I want to be... That's that's literally how they used to do those movies. Is that that's little? They literally put a Vaseline, Vaseline around the and you have people coming on the lens. Films going, are, we're using a split diopter, and you go, no Vaseline. Vaseline on Vaseline. the lens, and it makes it looks. I want that. That's how we're going to shoot our show from now on. You should just me saying, welcome to the show, everybody, and just this yeah. dreamy, creamy, black and white. Worst idea I've ever had. Uh, <laughs> the saddest music in the world opens Friday in select cities, and the first season of The Kids in the Hall is now available on DVD. Oh, and yeah. I think a lot of people are going to want that. Now you can go, woo, woo. Mark McKinney, thank you for being here. We'll be right back. David Feldman's here. Thank you.